Well, Assetto Corsa, this is another one of your sweet, awesome modded maps. So you may remember I did the Transfigarian Highway a week ago or two weeks ago now it was. Anyways, this is another one since you guys enjoyed that one so much. I wanted to show you guys another sweet map. This is Lake Louise, an actual place in the world in Alberta, Canada of all places, which is actually sweet. So sadly, this road isn't actually a real place. So what the road is, or what this, this map is, is the creator of this map took Lake Louise, that building you just saw, which is a ski resort, and then took the Nurburgring and their love for hill climbs, I would assume, and sort of smushed those all together and went meh, meh, meh. And this was born, I guess? That's basically what happened, I think. And it's a sweet, really cool, really awesome map. Very, very fun. I will include the download link if you do want to try it out for yourself. But the, the most fun thing about this map is just all the, like, terrain elevation. You're always going up or down something. Like, here, freaking sweet jump. Had some issues with it, like I turned in the middle of the air. Not a good idea, because that happens. But I did manage to sort of save it. I didn't fall down the cliff. Thumbs up for me. Yeah, not bad. But anyways, I did actually want to talk to you guys about some Assetto Corsa mods today. So in Assetto Corsa, I have a whole bunch of sweet, awesome map mods that I do want to showcase in the coming weeks. But I also want to show off some of the sweet cars that people have been modded in. I wanted to mod in the Koenigsegg 1. I had some issues with that, but I'm going to try and do that possibly next week as well as the Noble M600. I actually got it working, but I couldn't see my hands, which was kind of off-putting, so I may or may not show that, showcase that one in the future. Anyways, uh, this time on the video, I'm actually going the correct way around the map. Before, I was going backwards, which was kind of confusing with the driving line and everything. I had to be super, super careful, because on this map, there's a whole bunch of blind corners, and you just don't see them coming if you have the driving line off. I tried driving with it off. No. Just no. There's so many corners you cannot see coming, and... If you're taking them at any moderate type of speed, that sort of thing happens if you have the driving line off, so I was just turning it on. I needed to see where the corners were. Already hard enough, and you respawn a lot. This track's actually really awesome. It's 22 kilometers long, so crazy long map. Oh, this is sweet. I pull off a barrel, thumbs up for me, and then I forgot I was a shitty driver and hit a wall, and then thumbs down. Yeah, so that went well. Anyways, after that, I felt like the McLaren was getting a little hot, so I put it in the river, or the lake. Which went well, and that's a brilliant thing. I'm driving underwater now, which is fun. But um, yeah, that is Lake Louise for you guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I really do enjoy doing these mod showcase videos for you guys uh, with these wheel cams and stuff. Again, thank you Thrustmasters for the 458 wheel. Again, if you're interested in the wheel, links to that down below. But uh, wheel review, going to be coming tomorrow. That should be sweet. But um, anyways, guys, Americans, hope you're having a th happy Thanksgiving. I will see you guys in the next one.